Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about ticker symbol TRCH. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have already. I really appreciate it. So today was an awesome day, of course. We ended basically 20%. If you count the after hours, 188 is the close. Broke over this 201 mark at after hours when when we hit seen this news that we're going to cover of course in this video pretty solid day we'll kind of get more of the charts at, after we cover this news real quick and look at sage geosystems so we collaborated with sage geosystems on a 10 million dollar initial proposal so we can continue this collaboration if things work out a validated new technology new tag technology for harnessing geothermal energy and drilling web bores at selected testing locations so if you see this post it's based off the Seebeck effect so to give you a picture idea ours won't look like this of course but the energy conducts through these iron and coppers between the hot and the cold just to give you a picture effect of the Seebeck uh, if you want to look more into it George tweeted this out and Torchlight did as well I believe so Torchlight tweeted out that Lance Cook sits on the board of Torch as well so if we're looking at these Sage guys Lance Cook had 37 years at Shell Lev Ring also worked at Shell and he has 25 years of oil and gas worked at Weatherford LP uh, Solutions I believe or maybe VP Solutions sorry so Chris Anderson uh, was the founder of, Crit of Ted Tots of course so pretty solid group looks like they're on the ground floor as we'll cover that in a sec sages phase one demonstration will be driven texas in early 2021 we will be used at selected testing locations so things should start uh, coming up on this thing pretty quick looks like we can have clean secure baseload energy by 2050 so we could provide global worldwide uh energy clean energy and we know the biden camp is going to be pushing green clean energy so getting more into that is huge we already have the solar panels the sage team believes that geothermal energy is the nature's future of oil and gas industry and intends to help pave the way for the industry so just like meta materials you're getting in on the ground floor of this this is just a collaboration of course but if we do big things with this company of course we're going to see an uptick i mean when we make the deal like come on uh so if we look at our past partners one thing i want to touch on when we get nasdaq listed we're going to see more and more partnerships already we've had these customers and partners of Ar arbus samsung Medea, uh sustainable development uh, boeing caltech united states something command so yeah just a ton of just good partners and as i stated once we get this nasdaq listing meta materials is going to see a, a ton of more interest it's the first ever meta materials company i'm telling you we're getting in on ground floor we're going to see lots and lots of more partnerships and you've seen just the uptake off this sage geo one and that's because geothermal could be huge and especially with the biden camp so that's a really big deal seeing a lot of big interest from that today so if we go back to the charts here one thing to expect possibly friday sometimes you see profit takers so if we do dip down over some of these new supports can basically call this 185 five now a support since we closed at 188 we'll see how we open up in the morning if we look at the futures real quick can't always tell because they've been red and then we've uh, been green so looking to uh, basically break even at this point so some things to look at if we do start kind of breaking these supports uh, supports i would suggest not financial advice loading up some shares this might be our last big dip if we dip at all tomorrow if we see an uptick we could really start moving once we start getting these two uh two dollars range if we go back here to the one hour try to zoom in a little there's just some serious gaps to be filled up there won't be much downward pressure once we start making the breaking these levels of course there will be some probably again about 118 and a uh, couple three cents levels but they're not as big as these big ones that are harder to break through as you've seen throughout the days so just do with that what you will i think we could see a, a minor sell-off if it's friday if the bull market just continues it's it hasn't been bullish for so long i mean we see over two dollars tomorrow for sure uh just a guesstimate i would say maybe hold around 212s 210s maybe get pushed back down to this 205s but i think we would maybe uh well see over two dollars if the bullish market continues because we're just gonna have to break through that 190 line if we do see bearish uh i say we can maybe best through this 180 and maybe fall to this 170 mark i don't know a lot of people are going to be holding i think because news is on the way so do without what you will turn in more green on the futures they just started of course be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all to already have. Merger is coming uh, close to the end. But like I said, Man Material is going to be groundbreaking industry. And they're going to get more and more partnerships. So I think there's going to be more and more news coming out. So be sure you all staying up to date. Be sure to join the discords in the 
uh, description. A lot of good info talked about on there before I can get videos out. So I'll see y'all next time.